Hello lovely people and welcome to Trinket Corner. Today we are going to make a forest fairy. I'm using silicone molds for the body and face and a substance that is called moldable cosplay foam. It's very soft, easy to manipulate and it's very light when it's dry. That's why cosplayers like it so much. Like any air drying substance, you need to keep it firmly wrapped. And if it becomes a little hard to manipulate, you can dip your fingers in water. I filled both parts of the mold with foam, pressed it together firmly, removed one part and let it dry. I use scissors to cut any excess material I may have. The foam easily sticks to itself, so I fill in any gaps I can find with more foam and let it dry again. I glue the head and hands using toothpicks and PVA glue. To be fair, now that I think about it, I could have used more foam. But I was afraid it wouldn't hold two large pieces of already dried foam together. I sand the edges using a small steel file. Now it's time to paint her. For the sleeves I used artificial leaves and filigree bead caps from metal. I hot glue the leaves, cover the top part with preserved moss, and glue on metallic parts. For her skirt, I just hot glue pieces of fabric and cut them to my liking. It would have been much easier to use green piece of fabric, but I didn't have it at the moment. I want the front part of her gown to be shorter, so I do adjustments with scissors. I wrinkled a piece of plastic, wrapped it around the fairy's legs and attached it under the skirts as shown in the video.
Then I cover her skirts in watered down PVA and let it dry for one day. After it's dry, I cover it in green acrylic paint. When I remove the plastic, the skirt will stay in its place as if it's flapping in the air. Afterwards, I hot glue a bunch of different kinds of artificial leaves and branches to my fairy's gown. I'm carefully covering all the edges Once again, I attach preserved moss and leaf to cover her chest. I glue on pieces of metallic filigree to add more detail to her gown. I bend a piece of metallic filigree to prepare bases for her headpiece. I glue on a little green bead in the middle of the chest piece and on the head piece. I hot glue clusters of green feathers on the head piece. Since our fairy's dress is going to be green, I thought that ginger hair would look the best on her. I simply glue them on in rows and then I add her crown. I added more green in the inner side of her skirts because the pink was too visible. Our fairy needs wings and those wings are going to have a shape of a leaf. I cut pieces of holographic plastic in the shape of a leaf and attached them to the stems of artificial leaves. When it was dry, I realized that those stems cannot withstand the leaves, so I had to make metallic substitute. I 
I use UV resin to attach metal to vinyl sheets and I sprinkle in some glitter. I use thicker green UV resin to cover the metal. Then I hot glue wings on the fairy's back. I attached a small purple butterfly on her gown. To make boots, I covered her feet in air drying clay. When it was dry, I covered it with lighter and darker shades of green. Then I glued on tiny leaves. I decided to add a hint of lavender in the gown and on her headpiece. There was a huge seam on her neck and I've decided to cover it with a necklace. In order to make that necklace, I attached small pieces of beads using UV resin. I did the fairy's makeup. and sealed her face with a layer of UV resin. This not only sealed her makeup, but also made her face smoother. And this is the final result, please enjoy! And if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment and ring the notification bell.